Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pilates. I think it's nine o'clock. Let me double check. Yeah, it's time to go. Hey, you did this to me this week. Go up there. I couldn't get on anything done because of you today. So a couple of things you might want to have with you today, you don't have to, is the tunnel or the mat for your tailbone, because we're going to be on that in that lean position um, for part of the workout. And another thing you might bring is your roller or um, block to um, do some balance work on. It'll be really interesting. Okay, so welcome to Pilates. It's Sunday morning. It's nice and breezy today. I have a dog under my elbow. Uh, let's sit on our mats. <clears throat> Move your glutes back. Put your body over top of them. You want to feel light even though you're planted down, right? You're going to inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. Remember, exhale up and inhale down. If you can't get your sit bones down in this position, you can take one leg out. Exhale up and inhale and exhale over to the right side. You want your ear and your elbow to be in alignment. You want your ears to be over your hip line. You want your eyes straight ahead. Don't drop your chin. Don't roll forward. Get that big, strong stretch over the side. Bring that elbow back and push through to the other side. There we go. Feel that lengthening from the hip to the armpit. Grab your ear. Take your head across. Again, keep it in alignment. Great job. Nice. Now push through. Rotate your chest. Look ahead on the floor without lifting or lowering your head. Our shoulder is toward the screen. You're doing a nice twist. You want to remember to keep the cheek down, right? The opposite cheek down. Here we go. And hold that push. Nice. Put your hand onto the uh, leg. Come around. Ooh, and let's do our spinal twist. Lift up. I want you to actually physically pull up through the back and the front, through the groin. Feel the lats go upward. The head and shoulder tracks. The shoulders into the shoulder socket. Take a nice big breath here and try to rotate some more. Nice. And then inhale to prepare. And exhale, come back to the center. Roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward. Let's change legs. All right. Again, you want to make sure you're on your sit bones. You want to make sure your head's over your tailbone. You want to make sure the shoulder, ear, and hip are in alignment. Inhale up. Exhale the ceiling. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Last one. Exhale up. Inhale and exhale over to the other side. Again, let's try to push it back right here. Push it back right at our pack, at the corner of our pack to make ourselves get into alignment. Nice, soft arm here. Draw your arm back, push through to that other side, keeping the cheek down. Nice, beautiful. And then grab the ear, bottom of it, and take it across, keeping that alignment. You always feel that alignment happening. Good, inhale across and rotate and push through. Big push. You want to feel a rotation. You don't want to feel the cheek lift off. Hand on the thigh, sweep it up, bring it all the way around for a nice big spinal twist, a good lift. Inhale and exhale, rotate just a little bit more as the shoulder tracks. You're lifting toward the ceiling. You're doing great stuff. Inhale to prepare and exhale and bring it back to center. Arms come out to the side. You put them together, you push them through, and then exhale that open spine. So you're, you're uh, lifting the, the um, ribs apart, the vertebrae apart, right, <clears throat> as you push it down. And we've added a stretch to this opening. I'd like you to put the bottom of your feet together in an open diamond, and then grabbing your, whatever you can reach, lean into it. So we're opening the hips and the thighs a little bit more. Kiss your doggy, yes, and lean into it. He really does have no boundaries. And hold it right there. You feel that big stretch in that hip. Curl yourself up. We're going to get down to the mat. Put your feet in front of you. I'm going to take my socks off so I grip. It's always better with your socks off. So if you have them on because you're cold, let's see if you can. Take them off at some point so you can get more grip. Lift yourself up over your sit bones. Your legs are sit bone width apart. You want to make sure that you're in alignment before you go down because you want to be in alignment. All right, let's start at the bottom of our tailbone 
and curl ourselves down, articulate vertebrae by vertebrae, taking each piece down one at a time. Make sure your shoulder blades are before the shoulders, the shoulders before the head. And then when you reach the bottom, lift your glutes up, take them down the mat, wiggle your upper body up the mat. You want to get that nice long line right down the middle of your body. We're going to make sure we have our belly button pressed to the spine, but not not the uh, lumbar push down. Our <clears throat> second and third quadrant of our abs are up and under our rib cage, and our rib cage is closed so that we have this huge opening in our back right here. Nice. I cleaned my mat today, and so some of the cleaner is going to make me sneeze, so pardon my sneezing. All right, so we're right here, and we're going to take the right leg to tabletop and the left leg to tabletop. This is the safe space for people with bad backs or back concerns. We want to curl up, so inhale up and exhale looking through here. I know you want to look at your legs, but don't. You want to look through the uh, gap of your thigh, and you want to make sure that you're on the kickstand of the um, of the shoulder blades. All right, tap down and up. Inhale and exhale. Too much, too much talking, not enough moving. Let's do it. Let's do it. So inhale and exhale. This is just to get our hips warmed up because the next warm up holds the hips still. So we wanna make sure that we start getting blood into all the parts of our body. So today's emphasis is could be one side than the other. So we're gonna do some things that focus on one side and we're gonna do them on the other. Some of the things we're used to do in alternation, but today we're gonna to do them in isolation. All right, let's double time. Down and up, down and up. So now we're pumping those hips, right? We're getting a lot of juice, a lot of oxygen lifted into those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Put them together and stay here. If you have back concerns, we're going to our hundreds. If not, stretch it out to a 45. Your hands are beside your hips. You're going to pump. Inhale for five, exhale for five till we get to 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. One leg in, the other leg down. Double pulse. Keep your upper body anchored. One, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two. Now this is comfortable, one, two, keep going, one, two. This is okay for the back. This is a good, um, this protects the back, but if you're feeling any twinges, just bend the legs to the tabletop. Also, if you are running out of your curl up, put your head all the way down, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. You've got it. It's 10, point that leg, nine, good job, eight, stay in your curl, don't look to your feet, seven, six, and five, good, four, and three, and two, and one, nice job, grab your knees, lower your head, you're ready to go, one foot down and the other, Put your hands into arms into a cactus. Take a nice deep breath. Probably shouldn't have done the mat right before class. I got a misty nose now. <sighs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is single leg stretch with just one leg. So we're gonna really focus. One of the things you have to think about is keeping your uh, upper body into the center. Keeping the other leg at a tabletop to protect your back. So right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, inhale. You're going to draw this leg in, putting the hand on the knee inside, the ankle outside. You extend it and bring it in. Inhale and exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Keep going. Right here. So the point here is to grab, right? You bring it in. So when you bring it in, keep going. 
we're going to break this down a little bit. You're going to feel this hollow that happens in your belly. Keep going. So you want to pull that under as you bring that leg in and you do that big exhale. So the extension and then so bring it in. And then in the extension, you want that big point. So you want to drive it out. So none of these movements are passive. Every one of them is dynamic and active. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, keep that other leg at tabletop, eight, seven, six, pull it in, five, good job, four, stay in your curl up or lie down, three, two, and one, tabletop, other side, same thing, and on the thigh and or knee and hand on the ankle, in and one, two, three, four, five, six, anchor your top, seven. You don't move side to side, eight or up and down, nine. We have 10 more, good, 10, drive it out, nine, good job, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, this is just a warm up, two, you know it, and one, and hold it right there, put those feet together, Just keep yourself in a curl up, really tighten those legs, keep them at tabletop, one leg goes out, and in, the other leg stays right where it's supposed to be, good, keep curled up, nice, good job, so it's like half a clamshell, good, and again, you can be all the way down if you need to, good, Keep going, belly into the spine when you bring that leg back in. Come on, exhale back in, 10 more, 10. Good, nine, eight, seven. So you're keeping those feet attached, six, so make sure you can see that, five, four. This is gonna be very different from the next one. Three and two and one. Let's do the other one. One, keep this leg steady. Two, keep it curled up, three, Four, you're in tabletop. Five, six, good. Seven, keep curled if you can. Eight, nine, you have 10 more. 10, 10 more. You can take that curl up a little stronger, right? Eight, seven, whoo. I want to move the other leg. Six, I got to hold it steady. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now the difference this next one going to be is you're going to take it out and in without a turn. Out and in. Good. Yes. So we're going to focus here for a while. We're going to be in this position for a bit. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. So pull yourself up every time. You've got it. Good job. Keep those feet pointed and, and uh, dynamic. The other one is working even though it's standing there, right? 10 more, 10, nine, curl up, eight, don't look at your feet, seven, don't move without you looking at them, six, last five, and four, keep going, lift up three, and two, and one, other side, one, and two, and three, and four, keep going, five, lift up, six, pull it in, seven, don't let the leg turn, eight, nine, it was turning in the first one, you've got 10 more, 10, good job, nine, perfect, eight, good, seven, six, nice, five, good, four, and three, and two, and one, now hold that tabletop, drop this leg all the way down, Little lifts are 20, one, two, you're lifting from the inner thigh, four, so the hip, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you've got 10 more, 10, good, keep it curled, five, six, five, four, three, two, and one, drive it in, other side, drop it down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you've got 10 more, 10, nine, keep that curl up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drive it in, 
and we take it to shoulder with the part, just one leg to shoulder. So you line it up with your shoulder, extend and bend. Two, so stay lifted. Three, four, nice. Five, six, so you're just open to the halfway. Seven, so right across from your shoulder. Eight, you can do this. Just extend it dynamically and bring it back to tabletop. Don't pass tabletop. You got 10 more, 10 and nine. Eight, we're not looking at our leg, right? Seven, we're looking through that hole. Six, last five and four, three more and two. We're gonna stay on the side for a minute. One, take it lower, extend one. Now, if this hurts your back, you take it back to the top part. Three and four, good job. Five, now the knee's turned, right? Six, it's turned toward the front, seven, Eight, it can't be at the ceiling anymore. Nine, because we're at the bottom. 10 more. 10, keep it curled. Nine, good. Eight, <clears throat> seven, six, good job. Five, now we could feel it. Four, and if it's <laughs> to drive it home, we, our next exercise will do it. And one, now hold it out there and circle 10 in one direction. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, reverse it. One, two, don't let the leg rotate inside. It's from the hips. So the knee doesn't move its position. Good, good. Nine and 10, bring that back into tabletop. Take the other one out to shoulder rip. Extend and bend. Two, nice. Three, you're halfway out. Four, you're going dynamic. Five, good. Six, good job. Seven, stay lifted. Eight, you've got it. Nine, ten more. Ten, good. Nine, good, good. Eight, seven, six. How's that tabletop? Is it still strong? Five, four, and three, and two. And one, let's take it down, extend, good, two. So you don't want it to go all the way to the floor because then you're pulling, keep going, five, you're pulling on that groin too hard and we're just trying to focus on the hip. Six, seven, I think I'm already eight, eight, nine, 10 more, good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, good job. Four and three, everything's pointed. Two, and hold it out of your circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse it. One, stay out to the mat angle. Don't let it rot uh, go into the center. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, did I say 10 already? And bring it in, hug your knees and lower your feet down one at a time. Okay, we're gonna do a curl up with a knee press. Um, and we're gonna do one knee at a time for 10 and the other knee for 10. So watch, or come along, play along with me. Now, some of you start your curl ups with your feet on the mat, that's fine. Some of you start it with your legs all the way up. That is also fine. So you find your place. I'll start with the people with curl up with the legs on the mat. Hands over the head. As you inhale to that first one, you really drive that breath into your body. You exhale, you're gonna reach up. You're gonna stretch across. As you come back, you bring the knee in right here at the, at the lean, right? And then slide it in all the way down. Let's do that again. Inhale up, reach up. Across, knee in, take it down. Curl it up, reach up, across, knee in. So I want this to be a defined moment and take it down. Curl up, reach up, take it across, knee in and bring it down. So you're really pulling into that position. Curl up, reach up, take across, knee in and bring it down. Curl it up reach up, take it across, knee in 
and curl it down. Good, take it up across the in and curl it down. And remember, keep going. If you need to slide your legs in and out to keep yourself into that curl up, that's cool. You have one more on the side. Curl up, reach it up, lean back first, knee in and take it all the way down. Let's go to the other side. Take a nice deep breath. Curl up, reach it up, take it across, lean back, knee in, and bring it all the way down. Curl it up, reach up, take it across, knee in, and bring it all the way down. Curl up, take it up, and across. Now, if you can't go as fast as we're going, slow it down, all the way down. I know this is kind of speedy, but let's burn some calories. Curl up, take it up, take it across, knee in, and bring it all the way down. Curl it up, take it up, take it across, knee in, and take it all the way down. You have five, uh, four more. Curl up, take it up, take it across, lean back, knee in, take it all the way down. Three more. Curl it up, take it up, take it across, you've got it, and take it down. You're doing great. Go. Push, nice, and take it down. Last one. Curl it up, reach it up, take it across, knee in, and take it all the way down. Take a nice deep breath right here. All right, one more thing on your backs, then we'll go onto, the, onto your sides. Just additionally, this week in the Shorter Pilates class, on Wednesday, we did Pilates uh, exercises that also stretch you. So if you want kind of a recovery as well as a powerful workout, you might check that one out. Okay, where was I? Right leg up, left leg up, curl yourself up, take it all the way up. Leg comes out and in, one leg. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole set on one leg. We're not gonna switch over <clears throat> um, until we're done with the whole set. So that's more than one exercise. Good. So one of the things I always say, hit your spot, right? To make you give yourself a second hold. The other thing I want you to do is make sure you're not rolling over with this. So the, the, the hip stays planted, right? There's a tip, seven more. Six, good, five. Upper body's anchored, four, good, three. Good job, two. Now you're gonna hold it all the way out there on one. You're gonna flex the foot, push it out 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, you're flexed, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I want these to be slow. Three, they're slower than a curl ups. Two and one. Point the foot, take it up a quarter of the way. Back to flex. One. Two, three, so you're at the halfway point now. Four, five, six, curl up, seven, don't let yourself drop back, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here on one, point the knee down, point the foot, take it down and up so you're rotated, two, and three, try to get the knee down as much as possible. Four, five, good job. Six, rotate down. Seven, eight, it's a turnout. Nine, 10 more. 10, keep getting cramps. Nine in my feet. Eight, so if I'm wiggling them, that's why. Seven, six, five, four, good job. Three, and two, and one, hey. All right, you're back at the center. Rotate your knee back to your face and bring it to the three-quarter point. All right, hi there. Flex your foot, push it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rotate it again, point it, bring it toward the other leg, one. 
So one knee is facing you, the other knee is facing away. Five, six, seven, good. Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more. Try not to go past that quarter point. 10, nine, we're not gonna look at the feet, right? Eight, seven, six, we're last five on that kickstand of the shoulder blades, four and three and two and one. Now let the knee go back to parallel, flex the foot for the last time. Up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three and two and one pointed up and the other side goes out and in one good two you've got it three good job four five six seven stay curled eight nine yes ten more get your spot ten nine eight exhale in seven, six, five, four, good job, three, and two, and hold it here on one, flex the foot, one, two, push it out, three, the other one still stays lifted over that, yep, good, the knee still facing you, good, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point the foot, take it to the quarter and spot, and then flex it again. One, two, three, four, five. Curl up. Good. Nice. Ten more. Good. Push it. Perfect. Yes. Now point the foot, turn the knee down, take it down and up. Nice. You're going to feel the stretch coming from the groin right to that inner thigh, right? Keep going. Keep it long if you can. Good. You're going to feel some pops. Yeah. Good job. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, right here. 7, perfect. 6, 5, good. 4, 3, woo. 2, and 1. Take it to the quarter point and flex the foot. Push it so you're a quarter out and you're three quarters up. Push it. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, six curl up. Seven, you could do better. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point the foot and then rotate the knee out. Take it to the standing leg. One. Good, so the knee is facing out. Good, nice. You've got it. Good job. Keep lifting, curl, it, curl yourself up. You've got 10 more, 10. Come on, you got it. Woohoo. Let's do six. Nice, four. Three, keep that leg turned, two, and one. Now rotate it back to position, flex the foot to the ceiling, last push, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I forgot the circle, 7, 6, 5, 4, you don't care, 3, 2, and 1, hug those knees. Nice job, drop them to the front. Take your arm over to the front, push yourself up. And we're gonna do an old fashioned workout right here, piping. What else? One leg, then the other is so perfect on the sides. Okay, so we're piped. That means our elbow and our shoulder in alignment and they're on the back of the mat. Our glute is also on the edge of the mat. To get your legs properly um, positioned, the best thing to do is to bend them and scoot them up and then take the feet off the mat. So the feet, if the feet are on the mat, you feel your back arch 
and you lose flexibility. So let's take them here. So we have them pointed so tightly that they're hovering above the mat. You want to make sure your hip is tucked under so that your hips are floor to ceiling, lifted lower. One leg at a time. And we're going to do the whole thing here. Yes, yes. So you exhale down and you definitely don't look at the foot for this one, right? Good. Nice. Ten more. Good. Nice. Yes, don't forget to hit your spot so you don't cruise through. Good. Nice. What do you think, Brewster? And hold it up here for the last one. So this is going to be our target. Bottom leg. Nice big point. Lift it up. Good. Good job. Perfect. What do you think? What should I do? Tell people how to modify? I think so too. So you can take this leg down and bring this other leg up without trying to reach that top leg to get a little more flexibility there. 10 more. Nine. Thanks for reminding me to tell them about the modifications. Seven. Thank you for the kisses. Six. Five. Four. Three. <clears throat> two. And one. Let's do the the uh, legs together. Now we put the arms overhead so we get uh, assistance from the lats and we also get a full body stretch, full body power, power bodied lift. One, two. Now I want to talk to modifiers. If you're pushing into your shoulder, three, you can come all the way down, four, five, or you can move your fingers toward the top. That kind of lessens your ability to push into your shoulder. You've got 10 more, 10. So if you're one of those people who can't help but push your shoulder and you can't lift here, right? You wanna make sure you modify. I think there's six more, six, five, four, good job. Three, nice, two, and one. Hold it up there and circle. Good, two, three, good. Now this one's really hard not to roll back a little bit on four. But tr let's try to pull ourselves forward. Five, six, seven. We'll get better over time. Eight, nine, maybe you are. Ten, reverse it. Ten. How big should the circle be? A basketball. Two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're taking the top leg, pointing it toward the ceiling, taking the arm overhead, and we're bringing it together and one. So this bottom leg is pointed and lifted off the floor. Good, nice. Five, six, seven, it's eight, stay lifted. Nine, 10 more, 10, nine, good job, eight, Seven, six, five, four, good job. Three, it stays turned, don't rotate it forward. And one, you stay right here, the arm can go down, lift and one, lift and two, lift. Pay attention to that bottom leg, three and four, stay lifted out of your uh, side. Eight, eight, nine. And 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. We got one more to go. We drop back and center. Do not let the knee or in the foot detach. Four, good. Don't let the upper body go forward. Six, seven, let's keep that tabletop. Eight, nine, and we'll pulse it back there. 10 more, 10, yes. Nice groin stretch, nine. My foot keeps wanting to fall down. Keep that tabletop. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, nice. Three, two, Hold it back here at 20, 19, 
18, woo, 17. You can feel this in the obliques, right? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Bring it back to center, extend it, bring it back down. You're going to curl yourself up and stretch forward. And then we're going to do our transition and then go to the other side. Now, the transition, I talked about using a block, your towel, or a roller. We're going to sit on this. If you don't have anything to sit on, believe me, this is a super effective exercise no matter what. It shouldn't be a pillow, though. It shouldn't be squishy, right? It needs to kind of support you. So you're going to have a seat right here. <clears throat> and you're lifting. Cool. All right, if this is too much for your sit bone, put a towel on it or just sit on it, a folded, thinly folded towel. Arms go up, you go back one and two, you hold it right there. Lift and lower one leg. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do one side first. Five, six, seven, eight. Belly into the spine. You can feel that. You got ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Don't let that other leg roll away. Six. You want to have that foot down because it wants to roll out. Five, four, three. Everything works. Two, and hold it here on one. Take it out and one. Out, stay lean back. Three, four, good. Five, six, nice job. Seven, so it doesn't turn. Eight, it's just an open and closing door. Nine, good. Ten more, point and foot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, so look straight ahead. Six, I look at the camera so you can hear me. Five. So four, you want to stay lifted. Three, back here, two, and one. Let's do this. Take it out, in, extend, soft bend. Out, in, extend, soft bend. Out, in, extend, three. Out, in, extend, four. Out, in, extend, five. Out, in, I thought I had enough padding. Extend, Six, out, in, extend, seven, out, in, extend, eight, out, in, extend, nine, out, in, extend, ten, out, in, extend, ten, out, in, extend, nine, out, in, extend, eight, out, in, extend, seven, out, in, Extend six, out, in, extend five, out, in, extend four, out, in, extend three, out, in, extend two, out, in, extend, lay it, put that foot down and bring yourself up to a lifted sit, don't drop over. We have a tendency that when we try to rest, we kind of defeat everything that we just did. All right, let's take the other one back. Lift it up, take it back, one, two. You're gonna lift and lower. Out and one, out and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, 10 more. Again, you can be on your mat, 10. You don't have to be here, and you can even have your hands down, nine. Let me show you that for a second, eight. You can be here, seven. If all of this is just a little too much, five, yeah, four, so three, basically what we're working on, two, and one, take it out and in, one. So what we're basically on is moving this with these transverse abdominals, three. It uh, recruits our groin and our hip, four, and, and fires up our quad, five, six, good, seven, eight, good, nine, 10 more, that's good. 10, nine, eight, seven, good job. Six, don't let the leg turn. Five, four, good. Three, and two, and one. Let's do the combination. Out, in, extend, soft bend. Out, in, extend, and two. Out, 
in, extend, and three. Out, in, extend, and four. That's not pretty on the set. Out, in, extend, and five. Out, in, extend, and six. Out, in, extend, and seven. Out, in, extend, and eight. Out, in, extend, and nine. Out, in, ten, two, go. Woo! Extend, and one. Woohoo! Feeling that hip? Yes. Nice. Four. And you have five more. Yes. Yes. Three more. Woo! Two. And last one. And sit yourself up. Let's take ourselves off the, off the apparatus. Push it to the side. It may come back depending on the time we go. And we're going to pike on the other side. Nice job. So remember how to get into pike. Elbow and shoulder in alignment on the back edge of the mat. Your glutes go back. Bring those knees up and take them off. Big strong point. Lift and lower. One. Don't forget to hit your spot. Two. Three. Four. Get that hip tucked on here. Five. Six. Seven. Good job. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nice. Nine. Eight. Seven. How's that bottom leg? It's a dynamic six. Five. Four. Three. Don't let anything turn. Two. Hold it up here on one. Lift and lower. One. Good. Two. Three. You've got it. Four. Watch falling back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. Nine. Try to stay steady. Ten more. Ten. Watch the rotation of the top leg, too. You want that knee to stay facing out. Uh, nine, eight, seven. Six. Don't reach with your toe, your whole foot, your whole leg. Four, three, two, and one. Put those together, arms overhead. Let's go. One, two, three. You've got it. Four. Remember when you couldn't do this? You've really, five, we used to fall back. We didn't have our legs in position. Six. Now we really master that at seven. Or you're on your way to being a master at eight. Nine, ten more, ten, good job. Nine, eight, nice, seven, six, nice, five, four, feet are side by side, so you got them in that point. Three, two, and one. Now let's do the circle. One, good, basketball, two, remember, three, good, four, Five, it's hard to do this without moving the rest of your body or pushing it to your elbow. Eight, we're gonna push as hard as, we're going to put that hip as far back as we can the other way, 10, and that helps us. Nine, the more we scoot it forward, the less we're able to do this. Eight, six, good. Five, four, good. Three, nice. Two, and one, legs are down. Take the top leg, bend it toward the, or turn it toward the ceiling, goes in and one, in and two, reaching for it, three. Again, you can be down here, four, if that is better for your body, six, seven, good, eight. We want you to get through these exercises, 10 more. That's safe for you, but also challenges you. It doesn't create pain, nine, might change, it might create ache from the fatigue, right? Six and five, four. So whatever you need to do to protect your body and still get it. And one right here, let's go. Lift and one, lift and two. We have two more pieces here, three, four. Good job. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, you've got it. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, nice. Seven, 
six, don't hit and bounce off the top. So unfold it, hold it, hold it. Nine, uh, four, good. Three, notice how I get random with numbers. Two and one, hold that tabletop, drop it back. And two, good. Three and four and five. Try to keep that tabletop. Six, which I'm finding hard to do. Seven, eight, shoulders away from the ears. Nine, 10 more, 10, nine, yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're gonna do pulse. Hold it back here, everything stays pointed, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, you feel that pull away here? 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Put those legs together, take them forward, and lift yourself up, and stretch into a forward fold. Good. Nice. Curl yourself up, drop your shoulder blades, get your head over your tailbone. Guess what? We're going back here. Someone putting a towel on mine. I'm going to face you. Well, no, I'll do, a, I'll do an angle. So you can be on your mat, definitely, or you can be on your block or on the end of your roller right here. <clears throat> right. We're going to lean back a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is going to take one leg up and hold it right here. One hand onto the floor is really good. And you can just get your sense of balance on here and lower that leg down. Take the other leg up. Same thing. Get your sense of balance. Good. And lower it down. Guess where we're going? Both legs up. Now, I'm not even sure I could do this, so I haven't tried it yet. So I'm trying it with you. So if I fall off the roller, don't laugh at me. Or if I fall off the uh, block, don't laugh at me. All right. Let's take the legs off the floor first whoop, to get the sense of balance, if you can do it. All right. If you can't go past here, that's okay. I don't know why I didn't practice this first. That was kind of dumb. All right. Ready? Belly button to the spine. Big work, big work, big work. Put the hands under your legs if you want to so they can be under here too. And lift them up and hold it. You can put your arms down if you need to. Hold it up there. And we got it. Yay. Bring it together. Take it down and roll yourself forward. All right. The final piece with the block is going to be one arm push-ups. Not one arm, but elevated arm push-ups. If you don't have a block, I'm going to show you a different way to do this. All right, so come on down. So if you have a block or a book, you can use a book, something hard. We're going to do the push-up with one arm elevated and one arm down. If you don't have a book or a block, you're going to use one fist and one hand. All right, so that creates the same kind of uh, variation. So our hands are under our shoulders. Our chest is between our hands. We walk our legs or feet back, depending on whether we're doing extended or bent, or knees or feet back, bent, knee or extended. And we're gonna come down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Chest to the floor, four. Eyes ahead, five. You wanna keep that belly button to the spine, six. Seven, eight, chest goes between the hands. Oh, that's your workout. Ten more. Come on, you can do ten more. Ten, nine. So if you're feeling it all in your arms, eight, you need to move those hands down your body. Seven, because it's your chest that has to be doing the work. Six, good job. Five, four, three. Two and one, and sit back. So, what good does it do to to uh, to do one up on the on the apparatus? It's like doing an isolated dumbbell fly. You get a real sense of where the power is located in your chest and where you're compensating because we have one strong side, one dominant side, and one less dominant side. All right, get back into position, putting it under the other part of your body. 
the other side, take it down and one, down and two, down and three, guys. Head on the floor, don't cock your neck one way or the other. Six, good. Seven, you can have your legs down if you want to. Eight, your feet shouldn't be flexed or pointed. Nine, uh, just let them be neutral. Ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, good job. Six, five, four, nice. Three, two, and one, and sit back into child pose. That's only 40 push-ups, so that's not much. Cool yourself up and lift. Okay, time for a few more things. A few more things with the block again. You don't need the block for these. We're gonna do, use it in our planks. Bruce, do you wanna use it in our planks? He's coming over to check. Do you approve of this workout? No. He's leaving. He says, I do not approve of this workout. All right, one foot on the block. Walk yourself forward, hands and shoulders in alignment. Flex that foot, flex the other foot. We're going to hold it, and I can't see the clock. Yes, I can. One minute right here. Nice. Hold it. Good. Now, you never do one side lifted and the other side not because. What happens is you throw your pelvis out of, uh, out, of, out of position, and an uneven pelvis is one of the major causes of back pain. And we get an uneven pelvis, like we've talked about this before while you're holding this, you have 30 more seconds. By crossing your legs a lot and, and using one leg primarily to cross your legs, and I know it's really, really hard to unlearn that, I do it too, by crossing your ankles. The other one, and we talked about this one a lot, is when you have one foot on the accelerator, if you're driving an automatic, the other foot should be beside it on the carpet or on the mat of your car because we have one foot on the accelerator and then the other foot bent under the seat or right in front of the seat and look at how bad and, and come back into child pose. And look how uneven our legs are and how that's gonna change our pelvic structure. So it's really important you have your foot on the gas pedal, that your other foot is in a parallel position. Let's go to the other plank right here. All right, one more minute and we're done. All right, under your foot, let's go. One minute, let's do it. And you could be on your elbows, of course. So I'm all about <coughs> trying to keep the pelvis even. And I have, <coughs> I have to say I'm the biggest violator of this. I, uh, work cross-legged on my couch with my laptop sitting on my lap. I sit in rotated position the whole time and, and I end up paying for it. So one of the things I have to do is I have to constantly do remedial stuff. I have a lap desk that locks my legs into position so that I don't cross one leg than the other. And um, I, have, I have not much success being comfortable at a desk. I would love to get one of those standing desks. I know a lot of people have those. You have about 20 more seconds. Um, but that would be probably the best thing for us is a standing desk for those of us who spend a lot of time at desks. I used to sit on an exercise ball, um, but it was too much to keep it inflated. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Come back into child pose. So that little talk, just in case you missed it, because I know you've heard it before, but I know that people forget that crossing their legs can cause, come and sit in your seated position, cause an uneven pelvis, which then causes back pain. All right, how you doing? Good job. Sit up on your sit bones, get your shoulder blades down, rotate, uh, lift your chest forward. If you can't get on your sit bones here, take one leg out. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take one leg forward. So I want it forward and flexed. Take the other leg up on it. Push down on your thigh, just in case you have any hip residue. So I like to bring in props, but props aren't necessary. Mat is a great workout, and um, it is one that is portable. I call it a portable workout. All right, put it into number four. Let's curl it down right through the center. 
All right, so you're pushing your hands forward, thumbs toward the ceiling so your shoulders don't light up. You're not gonna get your arms completely straight, that's okay. What you're looking for is a stretch from your tailbone to your neck. Put your head on your spine, look ahead on the floor. There we go. Reach, 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 reach. There we go. Now inhale back and then push forward again. You should get a little more distance. All right, put your back of your hand into your instep, the other part of your arm over your head, make sure your arm and your shoulder are in alignment. And you wanna be up over the side here. Then both arms up and down to this leg. You want to try to grab onto something, keeping the arms soft, to pull your chest, drop those shoulders, pull your chest to that thigh. Good. So we can feel that this is really pulling from this side of our hip if we're doing it properly. And curl yourself up. Let's do the other side. Switch out, right down in the middle. First, we take our leg up, not just our ankle. I don't want a lotus. I don't want a rotated ankle. Push on the thigh. Good. Watch the bottom leg from falling over, right? All right, bring it down to four. Or a tree, curl it down and take it right through the middle. Soft arms, thumbs to the ceiling. Keep the ears and the shoulders apart. Nice. Nice. Come on up and then push it through again. Good, put your hand into your instep. And you're gonna bring that other arm overhead. You're gonna look to the side and you're going to get that nice long stretch overhead. Keeping the hips down. Then both arms come up and then you're coming down to that nice long stretch. And curl yourself up and let's go to our straddle. In the straddle, you can bend your knees a little bit to make sure you're on your sit bones. We're gonna just work in the middle today so we can work the back and the inner thigh. So we're gonna put our hands in front of our groin and then little steps, hand steps, one at a time, keeping the feet toward the ceiling. Go as far as you can go. You don't have to go any farther than your body allows. You want to keep those feet um, pointed to the ceiling and not lifting. So as soon as one of those things happens, you're done with your stretch, right? So you're at your position. Watch the shoulders toward the ears and hold it right there. Slide in. Big inhale, slide out. There you go. Now, lower your elbows, scoop the hands in and lower your elbows. Little sphinx arms right here. And then push through to get that back stretch, that long back stretch. Eyes ahead on the floor. You wanna feel that open back stretch right here. Walk it in. Bring those legs together and bounce. Oh, class is almost over, bounce them out. Bring those legs into crossover. We're gonna just do a spinal twist, inhale out. Exhale, going to one position. We're gonna lift and turn and lift and turn. Good. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it all the way in. Let's switch legs, take it out and rotate the other way. Grab it, go to that leg, tracking that shoulder. And inhale and bring it back in. Ooh, that one fast. Inhale up and down. We're doing the hooks. Get it all through your chest. Good job. And roll those shoulders back and roll them forward. And thank you, everybody, for coming to Pilates today. I'm going to stop the recording, say hi, and then.